So what are the best chart time for traders? And in this video, we're only going to talk about time-based charts. And you understand how to use the different time frames. It's going to increase your ability to day trade. And we're going to break down six main chart time frames. We're going to talk about how each one can help you spot trends, identify your entry and your exit points, and of course, manage your risk. So we're going to start with the shortest time frame, the one minute and the five minute. Now, these are ideal for traders who want a faster paced environment. They love making decisions quickly. So the one minute chart, it's like a microscope. It shows you every little move in the market, and that's great for scalping, but it does require some pretty intense focus and discipline. The five minute chart, slightly broader view while still allowing for shorter term trading opportunities. And this is a really popular choice for day traders because it does provide you a balance between the rapid pace of the one minute chart and a bit more stability because it's a longer time frame. Looking at the 15 to 30, 15 minute chart, less cluttered obviously than the five minute one would be. It's gonna be a lot easier to spot market direction and even the price action. And I also find that this time frame is more reliable for using technical indicators because it has more data to work with on the day. Now, 30 minute chart, excellent for identifying trends that are more likely to last during the day. And if you're trading lower time frames, I highly suggest you also look at the 30 minute chart for trend direction. It does provide you a pretty good balance between details and the overview. It's gonna help you make better decisions without getting bogged down by those short term fluctuations that you're gonna see like on the one minute. Now we're getting up there with the one hour and the four hour. The one hour chart clearly shows the direction of the day. So it's gonna make it easier to identify the best times to enter and your exit your trades because you see the trend. It's also useful for recognizing chart patterns that can help guide your trading decisions with whatever plan or strategy that you're using. The four hour chart, pretty popular for Forex traders. It's a middle ground for traders. Filters out all the daily noise, shows the main path that the market's taking. You can use this time frame to confirm trends, assess the overall market sentiment before making trade decisions. Now let's talk about multiple time frames and focusing on a single time frame can be effective, but the real power comes from combining multiple time frames in your analysis. So this approach gives you a more comprehensive view of the market, the instrument. It's going to help you make decisions based on slightly more information. So you could use a five minute chart to identify your potential entry and exit points. But at the same time, you can monitor the 30 minute chart or the one hour chart to see trend and this is the overall context. So if the one hour chart shows a strong bullish trend or a 30 minute chart, you may be more inclined to take long positions on the five minute chart when a favorable setup appears. And you might also decide to use a larger position size if the higher time frame lines up with the shorter one. But also remember, you know, the longer one could be sitting at resistance. And if you're buying on the lower time frame, well, it's a slightly less optimal condition. So when you consider multiple time frames, you can confirm the strength and the direction of trends. You can identify support and resistance zones. You can gauge market sentiment more accurately. It's like a holistic view, a holistic approach. And it's really going to help you avoid getting caught up in the short term noise and it does allow you to align your trades in the direction of the overall picture of the market. So remember that each time frame is going to provide you with a unique perspective on the market. And when you piece together all these different views, you can gain a better understanding of price action. You can make trading decisions with greater confidence, but just be careful. Don't be looking at too many time frames. Stick with two to three. Don't be going around to different time frames to see what's going on. And that's just about being disciplined. So to wrap it up, you know, each time frame is going to serve a unique tool for day traders. You got to experiment with different time frames. What works best for you, your trading style, your strategy? Remember, the key is always in trading. You got to stay informed. You got to adapt to the market conditions. Rule number one, no matter what time frame you're trading, you have to manage your risk. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and like. Catch you in the next one.